Hey everyone, welcome to our live English class for this month. We are going to have a wonderful time together. I can't wait for you to enjoy this class and to learn a lot. So I am going to ask you as you're coming in to say hello and let us know where you are watching from. As you're putting your comments in and typing your country, I am going to add our Facebook friends because they're having a problem joining us today. Hold on one second. Let's see. Let's see. We want them to be able to join us. Okay. Well, we are here on YouTube. We hope that you guys are ready to learn a lot. Again, as you're coming in, say hello and let us know where you are watching from. Type your country in the comment section. We are so excited that you are here with us. So again, as you're coming in, say hello and let us know where you are watching from. Now, again, as you're typing that in, I am going to go to Facebook to let our friends know that they have to come to YouTube because Facebook is not letting them come in. Don't worry though. Please continue typing your country. Let us know where you are watching from. I am so excited that you all are here. Let's see. I see. Oh man, they're flying in. Here we go. All the way from Turkey. Yes. Brazil. I love it. Colombia, India, Tanzania. Yes. India again. Welcome. Welcome. Gilberto or Gilberto from Brazil, Argentina, Vietnam. I love it. Bunjumbura. I think that's right. Good to see you. Myanmar. Welcome. Welcome. I am so happy to see everyone. We have Greece here, New Jersey, the Dominican Republic. Yes all the way from Egypt. Yes. I love it again. As you're coming in Mozambique, as you're coming in, let us know where you are watching from. And if you are excited for this month's live English class, you can tell that I am excited. I want to know if you are. So as you're coming in, say hello and type your country. The comments are flying in. Portugal. I love it. India again. Yes. Uzbekistan. Yes. Myanmar. I love it. Sri Lanka. Hello. Cuba. Burkina Faso. I love it. Here we go. Here we go. China. Yes. Iraq, Texas. All right. I love it. Guatemala, Pakistan, Canada. Again, as you're coming in, say hello and type the country that you are currently in or your home country. I hope you are excited to learn a lot in our class this month. Algeria. Yes. Stevenson. Thank you so much. I am so honored to be your teacher. Mexico, Vietnam. Yes. Guatemala again. I love it. Sudan, India, Ukraine. I love it. I love it. Bangladesh. Now I need you all to do me a favor. If you know anyone that is following on Facebook and they're trying to find this class, send them the link of this live class. They don't want to miss it. They're going to learn a lot. All right. Okay. Here we go. Somalia. Yes. Haiti, Taiwan. I love it. I love it. You all are amazing. I love it again. As you're coming in, say hello. Let us know which country you are watching from right now. As you are looking at me, I'm trying to share with our Facebook family how they can access the class because Facebook is not letting it go on. So don't worry. Keep typing where you are watching from. I'm going to post this link so that our Facebook friends will be able to watch with us. Here we go. All right. So again, type your country. I see the comments flying in. I absolutely love it. Type your country where you're watching. And now if you are ready to learn a lot, I want you to type in the comment section. I'm ready. Type I'm ready. If you are ready to learn a lot, here we go. I'm just typing a message to those on Facebook. Uh, here we go it is blocking the live stream. Join us here. All right. All right. So again, type, if you are ready for this class type, I'm ready type, I'm ready. And we are going to learn a lot today. If you are ready to learn a lot type, I'm ready in the comment section. Here we go. They're flying in. 
Here we go, here we go. Yes, I'm ready, I'm ready. I see Jordan, Russia, wow, Egypt. I'm gonna do five more countries and then we're gonna dive into our lesson for today. Here we go, I'm ready, excellent. Dominican Republic, Congo, yes, you're in Florida, okay, America, I love it. Brazil and one more country, come on, fly in. Bangladesh, I love it. All right, I see you all saying, Tiff, I'm ready, I'm ready, let's do it, I'm ready. I absolutely love it. They are flying in. My eyes are watering, guys. Something got in my eye. <laughs> All right, excellent, excellent. I absolutely love it. My friends, it is time for us to jump right into our lesson. Last month, we had our first live English class and I truly enjoyed it. So I hope you are ready. I hope you have your pen and your paper and you're ready to take notes. So we're gonna jump right in. You're gonna learn words, expressions. We're gonna see a culture video and so much more. This is in part one of our class for this month. All right, so I want us to get started. I'm gonna show you. Now, we are gonna be looking at a ton of words and expressions, all right? The very first word we're gonna look at, okay? Now, I do wanna let you know I actually watched a YouTube video and the YouTube video had so many words and expressions that would be helpful for you. Helping you as an English learner really start sounding like a native English speaker. So the YouTube video that I watched was right here, making a Big Mac in McDonald's parking lot. Now you can watch this video later and you'll know the words and expressions that are used in the video, okay? so. This PDF that I'm using, the link is in the description if you want to get the PDF. Again, for those that are already my YouTube channel members, hey homies, I see y'all. If you're one of my homies, type I'm a homie in the comment section or say hey homie. But they already have this PDF, okay? So, we're gonna get started with the very first word. Right next to the word, you'll see that there is a timestamp. This is just letting you know, when you go back after class and watch this YouTube video from another channel that I follow, you'll hear them say this word at the one minute and 30 second mark. My goal is to help you be able wa to watch YouTube videos and understand what native English speakers are saying. All right, so here we go. Oh, someone asked a question. Hold on, let me answer this question really quickly. Someone said, Tiff, why is everyone writing their country? <laughs> hey, Sanan, it's because when you come on at the very beginning of our live English classes, I like everyone to tell us where they're watching from. This is a global community. We are here together and you are learning with many other, hundreds of other English learners around the world. So that's why they wrote their country. Sanan, welcome. We're happy that you are here with us. All right, so. Going back to the very first word again, I want to make sure you guys have your pen and paper ready, all right? So the very first word we're going to look at, I want everyone to repeat after me. Opponent. Good, good, again, opponent. Excellent, last time after me, opponent. Good job. Now, the question is, what does this word opponent actually mean? So, I want you to look at this definition with me, okay? The word opponent, this term opponent actually means one that takes an opposite position, as in a debate, contest, or conflict. In English, we say this individual is our opponent, right? So. Let me explain it like this. I love basketball. So many of you know I played basketball. You've heard my story times, right? So I played basketball all throughout grade school, high school, and college. I love sports. So when you're playing basketball, right, you're playing with your teammates, right, and you're trying to score, the opposite team, the team that's going against you, those are your opponents. Makes sense, right? Again, what does the definition say? An opponent is one who takes an opposite position. 
Or you can use this not just in sports, when you're debating with someone, hey, he or she has an opposite view, a different view from mine. In English, we say opponent. So let's check out the example sentences. And remember, if you were here last time, this is a very interactive class. So you're going to have an opportunity to write your example sentences. Okay. So here's the first example sentence I want us to look at together though. Okay. All right, here we go. He looking at the first example sentence right here, he beat his opponent in the election. So again, think about, Oh, hold on. I got to put that up. Jane, you like basketball too? I love it. I love it. All right. Don't worry guys. I see your comments coming in. There are a lot flying in, but I'll try to get some of them as I'm explaining this. So he beat his opponent in the election. All right. Think about your own country, right? You either have a president or a prime minister, right? And when that person was trying to become the president or the prime minister, he or she was going against another person who was their opponent. Actually, right now, I want everyone in the comment section, right? I want you to think about your own country, your current president or your current prime minister. When he or she was trying to become the president or trying to become the prime minister, who was his opponent? Who was her opponent? Type that person's name in the comment section. All right. I want to make sure everyone is understanding. Again, we're talking about this word opponent, right? So think about your president or your prime minister when he or she was trying to become the president, who was his or who was her opponent? Let's see. All right. Yes. You're understanding. Here we go. All right. Jeremiah from Angola. Oh, that's your name. <laughs> hey, Jeremiah. All right. I think again, type that person's name. All right. Okay. I think you're typing their name. Yes. He beat his opponent in the election. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Type that person's name. All right. Good. Our president. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. All right. So again, you're understanding what we're talking about, right? Oh, Obama. Okay. One of the, with the Obama, maybe. All right. So again, what you're trying to do is understand the term opponent, right? Opponent, how we use it in real life in your country. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's look at the second example while you're typing your answers. Okay. Excellent. In Brazil, it was Jair Bolsonaro. Maybe that's the pronunciation. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, no opponents in Russia. Okay. You still understand the concept. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Watching from Cambodia. Okay, good, good. Okay. Everyone is understanding this term opponent. Let's check out the second example sentence. She played badly in the first set, but then she turned the tables on her opponent and won the match. Third sentence, her arrogant behavior on the court completely confused her opponent. So we're seeing this word opponent. If you understand the definition of the word opponent, I want you to type yes in the comment section before we get to the practical application and having you write your sentences. If you understand this word opponent, I explained it using the basketball situation. If you understand what the word opponent actually means, I want you to type yes in the comment section. Yes. Meanwhile, the opposition. Exactly. If you understand type, yes. Excellent. All right. Kawa says, yes, I understand Tiff. Excellent. If you understand type, yes, in the comment section. Excellent. Annalise says, yes, Tiff, I understand. All right. Very good. Let's see. Let's see. All right. The yeses are flying in. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. I'm going to try to get as many of you as possible on the screen. All the yeses are flying in. Yes. You understand the word opponent. Excellent. Excellent. Very, very good. Again, just the opposite side, the opposition. Excellent job. Everyone is saying, Tiff, we understand. We understand. We got the word opponent. Excellent. I love it. Okay. Now what I want you to do is to make your own sentence using the word opponent. 
In the comment section, I want you to write your own sentence using the word opponent. All right. We're going to go over it together, looking at your sentences, and I want to make sure you're able to use it in real life. So type your example sentences in the comment section. Again, the word is opponent. And I want you to try to write your own sentence and I'm getting my typewriter right here, typewriter. I'm getting my keyboard right here. Let's you know how old I am. I remember using typewriters. All right. Write your sentence in the comment section and then we're going to look at the sentences together. Okay. So type your sentences together. All right, here we go. So write your sentence and we're going to look at it together. All right. Again, the examples letting us know if you understand what the sentence actually, how to use this word in a sentence. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Let's see. A lot of yes is still flying in. Let's see. All right, here we go. Let's see. Okay. Opposition party opponent is ruling party. All right. So let's look at this one together. All right. Again, the sentence says opposition party opponent is ruling party. All right. Here's how we can correct this sentence. Remind eight zero five one. Good job. Here's how we can write this sentence. I'm going to write it using a different color. Let's use this color right here. All right. So here we go. Example sentence was given. Look at the bottom. Everyone, the opposition party. Oh, the party. Here we go. The party's opponent. Okay. The party's opponent, everyone following along the party's opponent is the ruling party. All right. Is the current ruling party. All right. The party's opponent is the current ruling party. All right. Good example. Good example. All right. Let's get another example since they're flying in now. Here we go. All right. Ah, my friend was my opponent during the conversation. Good. My friend was my opponent during the conversation. All right. Let's get another example sentence. Good job. Here we go. He is the best opponent that I have ever met. Excellent job. Very good. The oh, Brazil's opponent in the final world cup was Germany. Good. Sweet says I used to play soccer every Sunday and we always beat our opponent. Very good. Very good. All right, here we go. Let's see. Using the word opponent again, using the word opponent. I don't have any opponents in my real life. Good. I'm happy to hear that. I don't have any opponents in my real life. Hussam says I quarreled with my opponent. Excellent job. Very good. Here we go. In the Dominican Republic, the opponent of the government lose the recently is oh very good in the dominican republic the opponent of the government lost in the recent elections good job very good all right so everyone understands how to use the word opponent now i am going to show you a clip this video clip came from my trip to new york city and this is where i want you all to think creatively this is an actual clip from when I was in New York with my best friend. How can you use the word opponent to describe this situation? This is where you're going to start thinking creatively in English. All right. So how can you use the word opponent to describe this situation? I literally had my camera walking around New York city. So even though you see people walking in front of me, you see people kind of pushing around uh, this gentleman with the flags on their back. Then you see the cars everywhere. How can you describe this situation using the word opponent? I see others are just popping in. Very good. Uh, Nikki is Trump's opponent in the Republican presidential primary. Good job. All right. Uh, let's see. Learn guys. Tiffany is a little hard. You can do it. I believe in you. Think about the word, right? Think creatively. How can you use the word opponent to describe this video clip? Now, again, I was in New York. We went to see the Lion King, the play, my best friend and I, and we were walking through the streets of New York. How can you use the word opponent? Let's see. I like this moment. Uh, when I win, I see my component is confused. Okay. All right. Good. 
How can we describe this situation? And I know you guys are thinking hard like, man, okay, oh, okay. If you are an artist, you have many opponents. You saw the artist right there. Yes, the artist, excellent. Think creatively, right? So if you are an artist, you may have, or you probably have many opponents. That's right, think creatively, okay. Ah, uh, people are your opponents. I like how you're thinking. People are your opponents as you record this video or the people around you were your opponents, Tiffany, as you recorded that video because I was trying to walk around and they were kind of coming against me. Excellent. I want you guys to think creatively. Very good. While I was walking there, I met my worst opponent. You guys are thinking, I love this. Excellent. Qualon says, Tiffany doesn't have any opponents in New York. Come on, amazing. Uh, Win Win says, all the sidewalk sellers are business opponents to each other. Listen, listen, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thinking creatively, yes, excellent. Here we go. New York situation opponent with hometown. Um, let me see, New York situation. Ah, uh, okay, so a little bit different. I think I know what you're trying to say. Maybe you can say the people in New York are opponents when it comes to people in my hometown, something of that nature, all right? Let's see, let's see. Anybody else trying to describe this situation? Let's see, let's see. Mana says, during my walk in NYC, I felt oppressed by all the stuff around me. They were my opponents. Notice I corrected it. Excellent example though. All right, excellent job everyone. So you're seeing how no matter what the situation might be, you can think creatively. This is how you learn a word and then apply it to your life. I guarantee you, for those of you trying to make the sentence about that situation, you won't forget this word opponents. You're forcing yourself to think in English. Excellent job. All right, excellent job. So. Let's move on to the next word. Excellent job, everyone. So we've done opponent. Now I want us to go to the second word. This is a word that you may or may not have heard before. All right. The second word is gourmet. All right. Everyone after me, gourmet. Good. Excellent. Last time after me, gourmet. Good job, that T is silent. So you might be wondering, Tiff, what does this word actually mean? All right, so here we go. Oh man, some more excellent sentences are coming in. People and cars were your op opponents, Tiff. Good job, good job. All right, here we go. So what does the word gourmet actually mean? So the term gourmet, this term means one who takes pleasure in eating and drinking. Now this is not, this is actually a typo. So let me go ahead and move to the next word guys. This was a typo, honestly. So gourmet actually refers to high end or food of a certain delicacy. So what I'm going to do is type this word, the meaning real quick. All right. So again, high quality or expensive or specialty food. So I'm going to have you actually watch me as I do it right now. All right. So those that have the PDF, all right, we're going to actually take this one out. And it's referring to expensive or high quality food. All right. Expensive or high quality food, gourmet dishes. All right. You go to an expensive restaurant and you have food that is absolutely delicious. The food is of this high quality. You say it's gourmet. Again, high quality or extremely expensive. In English, we say gourmet, all right? So here are the example sentences, all right? Here's the first example sentence. Here we go. The menus presented offered a tempting feast of gourmet food. So they gave many different menus and in each menu, they had gourmet food that we could actually partake of. So the menus presented offered a tempting feast of gourmet food. Then we have the second example, again, looking at the term gourmet. The gourmet restaurant, La Truffe or La Truffe, 
serves the sumptuous dinners you would expect in an international hotel. The food was absolutely amazing. And finally, some of the newest gourmet flavored coffee includes vanilla, macadamia, and even peanut butter. So once again, we're talking about this word gourmet. Again, expensive or food that has a very high quality, all right? We say gourmet in English, all right? So if the meaning, if you understand the definition, just type yes in the comment section. If you're like, yes, Tiff, I understand the word gourmet. I understand the meaning expensive, high quality food type. Yes. In the comment section, if you understand what the term gourmet actually means, high quality food type. Yes. In the comment section, I saw someone type. I'm not wealthy. Don't worry. We don't all eat gourmet food, but I want to make sure you understand the meaning. All right. Type yes if you understand what this word means. Yes, there we go, there we go. Good sentence, today I want to eat gourmet food. You don't need A, excellent sentence though. Here we go, yes, I understand Tiff, yes, they're flying in now, yes, yes, I understand. Excellent, very good. Yes, I got it Tiff, yes. Oh, macadamia is a type of nut, good question, all right? You got it. Excellent. Yes. Oh, wow. They're flying in. All right. Here we go. Yes. Yes. You understand up oh, truth says no if I don't get it. So again, gourmet food just refers to food that is of a high quality or very expensive. Here it is. The key right here again, food right here, expensive or high quality food. That's what the term gourmet refers to expensive or high quality. Hopefully that makes sense. True. All right. A lot of yeses are flying in. Excellent. Excellent. All right. You bake gourmet cakes. Excellent. Salome. Very good. Good sentence too. Excellent. All right. You guys are all understanding. All right. Now it's time for you to write your own sentence. All right. Using the word gourmet, write your own sentence. Again, we're trying to put this into practice so that you'll remember these words moving forward. Now I know some other questions came in. Don't worry. This is part one of our class. Now in part two, I'm going to teach English fluency and there'll be other things that we're going to be doing. And we'll also have a Q and a section. So if you come to part two, which is for my homies, you'll be able to ask me questions. All right, here we go. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Give me a sentence. I never eat gourmet dishes because I don't have money. <laughs> Great sentence though. Great sentence. All right, here we go. We spent a lot of good times in gourmet restaurants last night. All right. Okay. Or at the gourmet restaurant. We had a good time last night. Excellent. Here we go. Give me a sentence using the word gourmet. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Here we go. Oh man. They're coming in so fast. I love it. I feel like eating gourmet food. Yes. Gourmet food. It is delicious. Um, let's see. Let's see. Another one came in. I ate gourmet food, seafood restaurant when I was in China. Okay, here we go. I ate gourmet food at a seafood restaurant when I was in China. Good. All right, here we go. Last night I went to a five star hotel and ate a gourmet dish. Good job. All right. And again, I'll just correct as I'm saying it out loud. Okay. Good job. Keep trying everyone. Make sentences using the term gourmet. My mom cooks gourmet foods that would drive you insane. Come on now, mom. You better cook good food. I love it. I love it. All right. Again, using the word gourmet, make your own sentence. All right. Arnaud, yes, my opponents cannot eat in gourmet restaurants. Excellent. I love it when you all think creatively. You learned the word opponent. Now you're learning gourmet and you put them together. Great job. Excellent job. Here we go. Gourmet food served in a classy restaurant. You're welcome, Layla. What about this? I like to eat gourmet food served in a classy restaurant. Good job. Good job. Let's do a few more again, using the word gourmet in a sentence. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Hey, Madeline. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Ruth says I visited a good restaurant in Boston. I ate gourmet food that was delicious. All right. Yes. Anil, I'm doing great. Thank you. I love these classes. <laughs> here we go. All right. Oh, uh, here we go. Madeline, I love you too. Here we go. 
I used to eat gourmet food, but now I'm poor. Very realistic sentence. Just take the go out of um, the sentence and you got it. I used to eat gourmet food, but now I'm poor. All right. In my last meeting, I ate gourmet food. All right. All right. Pedder. Okay. P E D R K 32. I found my opponent eating gourmet food in Florida. Good job. I love when you guys combine the words you've learned and get creative. Excellent. Two more, two more. Jorge says, I make gourmet food at a Mexican restaurant. Excellent. Yes. Here we go. Thou says, yesterday my friend ate gourmet food. Excellent. So we have gourmet and opponent. Quick question, guys. So far, between gourmet and opponent, which word do you like the most? Which word do you think will be the easiest to remember or the easiest to use in real life? Just type the word in the comment section very quickly. We've learned opponent and gourmet so far. Which word do you think will be the easiest for you to use in real life after this class? Gourmet or opponent? Type it in the comment section. Hey, Tip, I think honestly gourmet will be easier for me. Or, Tip, I think honestly opponent is going to be easier to use in real life. Type the word in the comment section. Which word do you think it's going to be easier to use in real life for you? Remember, participation is good. Let us know again what your thought is. Which one is going to be easier? Oh, I love this. Oh, they're flying in now. Salome says both words. All right, I love it. All right, Leona said, Loen, Loena, I think, says opponents. Here we go. All right, gourmet, Najma. Okay, gourmet, opponent. All right, let's see, let's see. Ah, hey, I would like to have gourmet food. Yes, all right, here we go. Uh, let's see, gourmet will be easier. Opponent, gourmet, yes. Okay, opponent, let's see, opponent, Gourmet, they're flying in now. Uh, gourmet, someone says both. Arnaud says both. Uh, gourmet, gourmet, all right. Gourmet is getting a lot of votes. We have both. Okay, good. Why am I showing you all this? Because remember, you don't have to use the same words that someone else will use. Whichever words are more comfortable for you, use them. English fluency is all about expressing your ideas and your thoughts with your vocabulary words, all right? The ones that you're comfortable with. All right, good. Gourmet, okay, a lot of you say gourmet, opponent, both, gourmet. All right, excellent, all right? So we're seeing, <laughs> I love it, Allah says both. <laughs> I love it, I love it. All right, good, good. So a lot of you are saying both, and many of you are also saying opponent and, oh, gourmet. All right, so we see that you all have your own preferences, right? Now you know what's about to happen, right? I'm going to show you the video clip when I was in New York. And just like the first time, I want you to think creatively. Think creatively about this situation. How can you describe this situation using the word gourmet? Remember, I was in New York City, walking around downtown with my friend, passing a lot of people as I was walking to get to our destination. How can you use the word gourmet to describe this situation? Gourmet. Make a sentence describing this situation using the word gourmet. Again, remember, it needs to be about this situation because what we're doing is we're practicing creative thinking in English, all right? How can you describe this situation using, ah, uh, someone said, yes, I speak Korean. <laughs> I lived there for 10 years, all right? So can you describe the situation using the term gourmet? Now, remember, whenever you're learning something, and as you're writing your sentence, I'm going to say this to you all. Whenever you learn a new word, whenever you learn a new expression, try to use it immediately to describe something happening in your life. That's how you'll remember it later on. All right, here we go. The sentences are coming in. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we go. All right. My boyfriend loves gourmet food. Good. Okay, maybe my boyfriend was, as I was walking, maybe he was on the street. Okay, I love it. Here we go, here we go. Again, describing this video clip using the word gourmet. New Yorker, oh, New York City has a lot of gourmet food. Mmm, Elias, I can't find any gourmet restaurants on this street. Good. Sabanello says, I was in New York and saw a gourmet restaurant. Come on, y'all. Excellent. My brother is my opponent. Um, oh, sorry, we're doing 
gourmet now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. While they're flying and I'm trying to click them. He told me that Hard Rock Cafe, oh, that Hard Rock, the restaurant has some gourmet food. Excellent. Very good. Yes. I saw a gourmet restaurant in my blind spot. Ah, I love that. Using blind spot. That hot dog stand looks like it sells gourmet food. Excellent. When I was in New York, I ate a lot of gourmet food. Yes. Julia, Julia says, I guess all the people on the street want to taste gourmet food. Excellent. I'll do two more. Let's see. Let's see. I didn't expect that I would eat gourmet food on the streets in New York City. Yes. And here we go. I see a lot of gourmet restaurants in this video. Excellent. I want you guys to realize what's happening. You are right now thinking in English creatively. This is how you get to English fluency. And again, in part two, we're going to go more into English fluency. But right now I need to give you guys the words and expressions. So excellent job. We have opponent and we have gourmet. Now I want us to go to the next word, but I want to make sure so far opponent and gourmet. And we've looked at this video clips. If you're enjoying class so far, just type I am. In the comment section, if you're enjoying class so far, if the time is flying, just type I am in the comment section and we're going to move to our next word. All right. If you're enjoying this type, I am in the comment section. All right. I am. All right. I am. Wow. There's so many new words that I want to explain to you all. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Type I am in the comment section. If you are enjoying class so far, yes, here we go. They're flying in now. I am good. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Excellent. If you're learning a lot, if you're enjoying the process so far, excellent. Excellent. I love it. I love it. Uh, BL. Yes, you can trust me, put into practice what we are going through right now, going over. And I guarantee you'll be able to think in English. I believe in you. I believe in you. All right, here we go. Yes, I am. I am excellent. They're flying in. If you're learning a lot and you're enjoying the process so far, excellent. All right, good. They're flying in. So let's move on to the next one. I'm going to skip down to number eight. All right. Wow. They're flying in. All right. I'll put some more on the screen. Yes, I am teacher. I'm enjoying and I'm learning a lot. Excellent. All right. I want us to now look at this word, this expression, excuse me, this word right here on screen. The word is prepping, prepping. So everyone after me prepping good again, prepping. Excellent. All right. This term prepping. Now this term just means the action or process of preparing something or preparing for something in English. We say prepping. For example, I've told a story before on this channel about getting ready for Thanksgiving. My mom is an amazing cook. She cooks really well, right? And my mom will actually prepare the food well in advance. She'll start cutting up the carrots, cutting up the cabbage, cutting up the greens, cutting up the onions so that when the day comes and she has to cook, everything will already be ready. She likes to prep ahead of time. She likes to prepare things ahead of time. In English, we say prepping. All right. So check out these example sentences that will explain it even more. I had a landscaping job to finish prepping for preparing for you got it. Yes. All right. Here we go. The second example sentence he's prepping and testing the Rover for a long trip. And finally, he rolled his shoulders back, rolled. I'll show you real quick, rolled his shoulders back. That's what it means. Rolled his shoulders back, prepping himself physically for the verbal discussion to come. So let me explain this one. Let me show it to you visually. Imagine someone's about to start an argument, right? Sometimes when you'll watch people's body language on television or in movies, they say, okay, okay, I'm ready. All right. Go ahead. What do you want to say? 
They are prepping themselves, preparing themselves for what's about to happen. In English, we say prepping. So you can prep food. You can kind of, Hey, I'm prepping myself. I'm preparing myself to receive uh, my boss is yelling. Oh my goodness. I have to prepare myself mentally. I'm prepping myself, preparing myself for what's about to happen. Makes sense, right? Here we are. Oh, you're welcome, Yolanda. It's my pleasure. I love it. I love it. Sayonara says, I'm prepping for a new test tomorrow. Good. Very good. My mom is prepping many delicious food or lots of delicious food. I love it. I love it. Here we go. Some more came through. Wow. I always prep my bed before going to sleep. All right. All right. So again, we're talking about this word prepping. So remember you can use the word. Let me show you this really quickly. Okay, everyone. So in the video, they say prepping, but you can use the word prep as well. Okay. She likes to prep her food or she prepped her food. All right. So I want you guys try to use this to try to use this in a sentence again, prepping or prepped. Okay. Or prep. So how would you use the word prepping in a sentence? Let's see. They're flying in. I love it. Again, write your sentences using the word prepping or prep. Here we go. I am prepping my essay. Oh, for studying abroad next year. Ah, I am prepping my essay E S S A Y in order to study abroad next year. Okay. All right, Erica, I am prepping the gourmet food for lunch. Yes. Come on now for lunch. There you go. Using multiple words. Good. Here we go. I'm prepping for my first interview. Yes. Yes. I love it. The doctors will start prepping her for surgery. Excellent. Yes. Yes. I saw my opponent prepping for a test. Woo! Come on y'all. Y'all make me happy when this happens. Do you know how much they get prepping the food in Taco Bell's restaurant? Oh, do you know how much they have to prep the food at Taco Bell's restaurant or in a Taco Bell restaurant? Good. I prepped my house for Ramadan. Good. Excellent. Love you too. All right, here we go. My coach was prepping me for the next match. Man, you guys are smart. I love it. I'm prepping for the job interview tomorrow by practicing my answers. Yes. Brazil is prepping to make some English lessons. Oh, Brazil. Maybe my Brazilian teacher is prepping the lessons for class tomorrow for the English class tomorrow. All right. I am prepping for a job interview tomorrow. Yes. Here we go. I'm prepping for my IELTS test. All right. I'm prepping for my next job. Yes. I'm prepping myself because I have an interview tomorrow. Yes. Come on guys. I'm prepping the February expense report. You guys are amazing and you know what's coming. You guys understand the meaning and you understand how to use it in a sentence. Okay. So now I'm going to show you the clip again, the clip you've seen me walking through New York. And I want you to think creatively, make a sentence using prepping to describe this clip. Again, use the word prepping. It can be prep, prepped or prepping to describe the situation. I was walking through New York city, actually walking through with my friend and we were headed to our destination, trying to go see the lion King. And as we were walking, we saw people, we saw artists. How can you describe this situation using the term prepping? You understand the word. You understand how to create a sentence using the word. How can you describe this situation using the term prepping? Now, this is something right now. I am stretching your brains, right? Helping you think in English. How can you describe this situation using the term prepping? Here we go. I'm prepping for my visit to New York city. Okay. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that again. Here we go. I'm prepping to walk on the street. Let's see. Let's see. I'm preparing to walk on the street. Well, since I'm already walking on the street, give me another version of this one. I like where you're going though. I like where you're going again, using the word prepping. How can you describe this sentence? The ladies with red socks are prepping for something in New York city. Yes. Here we go. Another one flew in. I saw an old man in New York city prepping himself to have a gourmet meal. All right. Or to have some gourmet food. Here we go. I am watching Tiffany's video on YouTube to prep myself for an interview next week. Good, good. 
Let's see. I see someone prepping themselves to eat gourmet food. All right. The artist is prepping the colors. Excellent. He is prepping to eat gourmet food with his opponent. Okay. He's prepping the food to eat the gourmet food with his opponent. You saw a lot of people prepping a lot of different foods. Good. I actually did see that. Very good. Excellent job. Excellent. They're flying in. Um, let's see again about this video clip. Let's see. Tiffany prepped her trip to New York prepped for her trip to New York. All right, here we go. Here we go. I see one person prepping food. Good. Two more. They're flying in. Wow. He is prepping to eat gourmet food with his opponent. All right. Maybe the boy that's walking. All right. One more. Let's see. Let's see. Here we go. Wow. They're flying in. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. I'm walking in the street, prepping myself for lunch. Good. Good. Excellent. So you see what's happening, right? You learned a word, you learned the definition, and then you were forced to use that word to describe a situation. This is what I need you to remember. Whenever you learn a new word, whenever you learn a new expression or a new idiom, try to use that word expression or idiom to describe something happening in your real life. All right, here we go. Let's do a quiz real quick. So far we've learned opponent, we've learned gourmet and we've learned prepping. I'm going to tell you a fake story and I want you to let me know which word matches what I'm telling you. Okay. So listen very closely. This is a little bit of a quiz. Okay. So I want you to listen very, very closely. All right, here we go. I'm going to tell you something and you find the word that matches. So. I was actually talking to my friend and my friend is an individual who loves being around other people. She loves people. She is a true extrovert. She's always smiling, talking to people, hanging out. She loves being with people. So one day we decided to go to this basketball game, right? So we walked into the basketball game. We we're going to watch our friend play and we sat down and she was sitting right next to me. And we're both kind of like, yeah, go, you got it. Yeah, go, you got it. We were rooting our friend on. And so our friend is running down the court and I'm rooting him on. And all of a sudden I noticed that she gets quiet. So I look over and I'm like, yeah, but, but what's wrong? Her whole facial expression had changed. She went from smiling to looking very serious and almost upset. And that's when I realized sitting right behind her was who? <laughs> okay. Which word can we put right there? Who was sitting behind my friend? My friend was really excited and happy. And then all of a sudden her whole demeanor changed. Someone was sitting behind her who was sitting behind her. Think about the words. Yes. Excellent. Vola was the first one. Her opponent was sitting behind her. Alex. Yes. Her opponent was sitting behind her. Excellent job. La la to la 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 to Erica. Excellent. Esther. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. She saw her opponent. Excellent. Yes. You're welcome. Arca. I really want to help you guys. Excellent. Yes. Her opponent. Very, very good. Everyone. You guys understood the word and you're guessing. Well, <laughs> it could have been her ex. Yes. All right. Her opponent. Very good. They're flying in. I'm trying to get you all on the screen. Excellent. She saw her opponent sitting behind her. <laughs> Calvin said her ex. <laughs> Yes. She saw her opponent, maybe her opponent from a debate that she had. She saw her opponent behind her. Wow. You guys are amazing. Amazing. I love it. I love it. So yes, she saw her opponent sitting behind her. Excellent. All right. So now let me ask you this question. Everyone you learned opponent, you learned gourmet and you learned what's the last one. Somebody said it. What's the last one? Excellent. Prepping. Very good. You learned these three again, opponent gourmet and prepping. So I want to ask you very quickly again, out of these three, which one are you going to use the most? Again, gourmet opponent and prepping in your opinion for your life, which one do you think you'll use the most opponent gourmet or prepping? 
Which one do you think you will use the most real quick in the comment section? Which one do you think you are going to use the most in your life? Here we go. Oh, Clarence, thank you so much. I really enjoy teaching. I really like helping you guys. So thank you so much for that compliment. I appreciate you. Which one do you think you will use the most? All right. Which one do you think you'll use the most? You're welcome, Josh, all the way from Korea. Which of these words do you think you'll use the most? All right. Many of you are saying prepping tip. Yeah, prepping is a very practical word to use. It applies to many different situations. I understand that. Which word do you think you'll use the most? Many of you are saying prepping tip. I think prepping is the word. Okay, Zayna says tip. I'll use opponent more often. Okay, good. Again, which word do you think you'll use? Prepping. Wow, I love it. Prepping. Prepping. Good. It applies to food. It applies to work. Yes. Prepping. Prepping. <laughs> I love it. Madeline says prepping and gourmet. All right. A lot of you are saying prepping. I love that. I love that. Okay, good. I want to make sure you guys use it as often as possible. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm looking at the time. The time really flew by. We have 10 more minutes. So I'm going to teach you one more word. Now, remember I'm not done teaching, but this is just part one. Now, part two is going to happen literally right after this class, but it's only for my homies. So if you want to join part two, where I'm going to explain how to speak English fluently using these words, I'll give you more words and expressions and also Q and a time with me. The link is right in the description for part two. Okay. So don't worry. You can join me if you want, but this class is free for everybody here. And those that want to join for part two, I would love to have you with us. All right. So let's learn our last word for this point in time. And then we'll go to part two for those that join us. All right. So here we go. If you're ready for the last word for part one type, I'm ready. If you're ready type, I'm ready. All right. <laughs> Just type I'm ready. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. We're going to do this one quickly. It is replicate replicate after me again replicate good good again last time replicate excellent excellent now what does this word replicate actually mean the term again is replicate it means to duplicate copy reproduce or repeat. And I see you guys pop it in there. Tiff, we are ready. We are ready. We are ready. We are ready. I love it. Uh, real quick guys. Mutanda asked the question. Let me answer this question real quick. Mutanda part two is literally right after this. I'm going to go directly into part two. Part one is for everybody, but part two is for those that actually want to continue studying with me, hit the link in the description to access part two. So it's right after this class. So you can keep studying with me. I'll teach you some English fluency tips and you can ask me questions. So good question. Good question. All right. So again, this word just means to duplicate copy, reproduce, or repeat in English. We say replicate. So check out these example sentences real quick. They are working on computer generated speech that replicates or copies or mimics the human voice. Next we have many great watchmakers replicate designer watches today. They copy them. They make them look similar, right? And finally, being able to replicate the look after leaving the salon is the goal to have the same look. Now, let me show you what this is. Looking at the second example sentence, you all know this logo, right? This logo being what Nike's logo, right? Nike just do it. Well, some companies try to replicate it and it'll look like this, right? Replicate it. And maybe it'll be Reiki. <laughs> it looks similar, but it's not the exact one, right? They try to replicate the same little swoop up, right? But they'll put Reiki instead of Nike. They're trying to replicate the Nike logo, the Nike symbol, right? In English, we say replicate makes sense, right? Wow, they're still coming in. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yes, exactly. It means to copy. Excellent. Very, very good. First time here. Welcome Almas. We're so happy that you're here, here with us. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all of your kind words, everyone. I'm very passionate about teaching you all English. So I have fun. 
But I'm glad that you all also have a good time as we're in these classes together. All right. So again, a uh, question came in teacher members from the Academy can join part two. Oh, you have to be a YouTube member. Just click the link in the description and it'll tell you how to join for YouTube. Right. And then you can come and join us for part two. So it's YouTube members. You can join and be my homie there. So Thank you for being in the Academy too, though, Janice. All right. So again, we have this word replicate. If you understand the meaning of the word replicate, just type yes, very quickly type yes. In the comment section type yes. If you understand the meaning of the word replicate, if it makes sense, type yes. In the comment section, very quickly, part one of our class is almost wrapping up. Type yes in the comment section. If you understand the term replicate, Ooh, I like this. I want to replicate your way of teaching to everyone. I love it. Good example sentence. Thank you so much for your compliment. Okay, good. I got a yes. Got two yeses. Good. If you're understanding the word, the meaning, I want to make sure before we move to our example sentences that you'll write. Okay, good. A lot of yeses are coming in tip. Yes, we understand we're following. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Good. All right. Now I want you all, we only have about five more minutes left in part one. Okay. Part two is focused on fluency and Q and a with me and learning more words. All right. For part one, we're almost done. Tell me your sentence using the word replicate, write your sentence using the word replicate. All right, here we go. Yes, please replicate those files before canceling them or before deleting them. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There's something on, let's see right here while wow, they're flying in. I'm trying to replicate your accent. Very good. Excellent. I love it. I love it. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. They're flying in. My opponent was having a gourmet meal prepping to face me because she tried to replicate my moves. Oh, my opponent was prepping a gourmet meal because she wanted to try to replicate my moves. She wanted to have energy to replicate my moves. I like the way you're thinking. I like it. I like it. I saw ah, a copy of a famous painting. I saw a painting that somebody replicated of an original, a replicate of a famous painting. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. I can replicate the gourmet food that was made by the master chef. Good, good. My opponent. Oh, I already saw that one. Okay. Again, using the term replicate. All right. I'm going to replicate my document. All right. AI replicates drawings perfectly. Very good. Two more examples. Two more examples. Chromosomes replicate before cells divide and multiply. Okay. Ibrahim. I like it. I like it. One more, one more. Here we go. Here we go. We can't replicate the issue that was reported by the customers. Excellent. We can't repeat that, right? Excellent job, everyone. Everyone. I really hope you enjoyed part one. I don't want you guys to leave. So please hit the link in the description so you can join us for part two in part two. I have so many other things I want to teach you guys dealing with English fluency. Remember in order to speak English fluency, you have to have the right tools. So I'm going to talk about the five W's. We're going to practice in real time. I have other videos from my trips around America, other culture videos. And then we're also going to have more words, expressions and Q and a with me, my goal for 2024. And I've told you all is to help you achieve each and every one of your English goals. So that's why I do part one, this free class for everyone. And whoever wants to join part two, please come on and join. My goal is to help you achieve your goals. Again, we're on YouTube so you can join us in part two. Thank you again, everyone. Keep practicing. Remember I'm your teacher and I love each and every one of you. I'll see you guys in part two happening in about 15 minutes. I'm going to get some water and we're going to start in 15 minutes. Don't be late. Hit the link in the description. Listen, part two is where you're going to be able to ask me questions. I'll help you with your specific questions, help you with English fluency, and you'll be able to practice in real time. Love you all. I'll see you in part two link in the description. I'll talk to you guys soon.